and Nolan Smith. Bounce pass over to Harad on Nolan Smith at the other end. Well, I think the start, the matchups to start the game could certainly change throughout the game, Jim, because all of the Butler defenders are quite versatile. They feed it back to Howard again. And here's Hayward touching it for the first time. Gives it up to Matt. Snaps it over to Norad. This is a three. Feed it again inside the Howard left-handed hook, but tonight it's going to be because of that defense. Mike Krzyzewski, you heard him saying that on the pregame. That's what they're concerned about. Mack on the drive. Zubak it squirts out to Norad up ahead. Beasley, and that is shot behind. comes out to set a pick. Mack thought about it. Hayward, their top scorer. And now here's Howard. Able to squeeze in between them again. A close stand half hook. But the fact that he's been able to get his shot relatively easily has to bode well for him the rest of this ball game. And he hasn't picked up a foul. He's actually already played longer in the first half of this one than he did each of the last two games when he picked up two quick ones. Excellent point, Jim. Hayward's first shot of the night back of the rim. Knows how to use that height at 6'5 very effectively to get into the lane. There's Howard open. Sean Van Zandt on the floor for the Bulldogs, and there's another. Takes it away from Mason Plumley. Still on the drive. Nine Mack on that layup attempt. Zach Hahn on the floor for the first time for the Bulldogs, number three. Three-point shooter he is. They've gone the singler on Mack to give him a little more size or vice versa. Now Butler has had a couple of threes from Mack, but they're 0 for 7 from 2. And they've had good looks. Well, the key for Butler, even though they've not shot it well, Jim, is to maintain contact to keep this game within two or three possessions because their defense is good enough to give them a chance to stymie Duke. Beasley. Hayward follows it up. Well, Jim, since he started those 16 games, he's averaged seven points and ten rebounds a game. This is Hahn. Back for getting into the lane, Jim, and keeping his head up so he can see what's available to him. That's Norad. They've made four of the last six. Norad again. Not Andre Dawkins defending on Van Zant in for the first time. Shire matched up with Gordon Hayward. Mack. Howard had it. They have not really been able to get Hayward too much into the flow at this end of the floor as Van Zant. Hayward, you mentioned Hayward has not taken much, has not gotten into the offense yet. He got the tip in, but he's not going to force it. Beasley back out to Mack. Mack challenging Singler and blocked by Zubak. Mack, second chance. And tease for Butler, the free throw game and the turnover game. That's how they often can compensate for being out rebounded when that happens. Hayward in trouble oh. underneath. Oh. From here at the pharmaceutical giant Eli Lilly, but his heart said he wanted to be in basketball. Amazing journey. To get him and not, it, not only the head coaching but then take his team to the final four in championship and college basketball is thankful that he chose to step into a coaching role because he's going to be a star already is and i think he's got a terrific future that's Beasley. no call gets it back only two on the shot clock single ties it at 20. Van Zant out to Beasley. This is a three. Hayward tips it. And draw the foul. Two on Shire, five on Duke. Here goes Mack again, trying to get penetration. Good look for Beasley. Boy, both of these teams play with so much poise, Jim. You won't see Duke get rattled, nor will you see. Shot clock. Five and a half to go in the first half. It's been tight throughout. Duke's largest lead earlier was five. Mack in trouble. Impressive. How about that? If you had a 9 or a 10 o'clock class, they were shuttled back to campus. Well, the convenience of being so close to campus certainly makes that possible. And this guy has to get good they, look. 
Nice tip by Jukes. But I think Hayward has to assert himself a little more without Norred on the floor to run things offensively. Oh. Oh. That's Jukes. Final, but not that one. Now Hayward taking on Singler. No question about it. Brad Stevens. Jukes. He can shoot it. For the lead. Boy, it is fun to watch these guys go at it. Butler playing without a starting point guard and center as Norad and Howard remain on the bench with the two fouls as Mack goes past Thomas who has two fouls. There's another chance. Jukes. Feasley in the right spot. Underneath. Zubak and from the floor. Eight points for Shire. Shire backing off Van Zant, although Van Zant can shoot the three. You don't want to back off this guy, Shelvin Mack. He'll pull it on you. Right over Nolan Smith. Hayward can bounce it in. Man, there's a call. And the NCAA president who passed away last October, man who influenced thousands of lives. He sure did. Made a big difference. Very much missed, but his presence still felt. A terrific leader and advocate for student athletes. On, good pass. Oh, Jukes misses the dunk. Got the follow up, though. How about who's not available, whether it's injury or fouls? They feel like everybody on this roster can do his job effectively when called upon. That spots and Smith was wide open, well waiting said. for it. Well said, Jim. You're exactly right. Eight second differential, so Butler can't take the last shot. How about a three by Jukes? Oh, the six. Without fouling. Picked up by Matt. Well, you got to throw it in to Howard being defended by Lance Thomas. Oh. That'll sentiment game. They've trailed in the second half. One on the win, though. Norad. Behind Howard there. Beasley, senior. That first half. I mean, they're on pace to take over 70 shots in this game, but they've got to hit a better percentage than they've Oh, oh there's the shot on the high low as he looked inside to Zubek, and that freed him up for the jump. Norway. Oh, yeah. oh, Mack oh, drives in. Hook, didn't he? From about 12 feet that hit the rim. Then Shire, after he inbounds it, goes right to the hoop for the follow up. Gives Duke the lead. Howard working on Plumlee. Puts it up. Oh, oh, Tipped oh, up. No. Wanted to run the floor, no one to help out. Takes it all the way, swatted away, Singler. Great help by Singler. That's the second time he's done that tonight, Jim. Yep, pair of blocks. Beasley taking on Singler here. Whips it to the corner. Norad all set. Started a number of games this year for the Oregon Ducks. Well, Jim, Duke starting to assert itself on the offensive glass this half. They've taken 12 shots to Butler's seven here in the second half. There's Jukes, he can shoot it down. The ball fake gets him in the lane, and Zubek has been played within a four-point range. A lead of two, either side, make it now four. Miscommunication that time. A couple of people went to the perimeter, and that left Zubek all alone at the rim. Two big baskets on inbounds underneath. One with a second on the shot clock. And in a tight game like this, Jim, where both teams doing a good job taking care of the ball, those are the kind of plays that can turn it for you. Oh! That's a charge, no basket. Hayward, want to drive in again. No foul that time. Point category. The glue, what they call him. Here's Hayward again. He thinks not running a play, that's making a play. Recognizing what's there, and then using your instincts to complete it. Nor at this side was six by Duke. Mack cuts it down to Tibble to pull away. Every single possession. Butler will be in the bonus. Mack. Beasley goes right past Zubek and snaps it back outside. Back to the corner. Beasley with a three. Driving. Here he goes. This is the biggest lead of the second half for Duke. Five-point advantage. Sheldon Mack is not back out there. Oh. To Howard. Oh. 
Thomas reaches in, picks up it. Mack coming in, blocked. Morad takes it into the paint, put it up too strong. Boy, terrific. Yeah, starting to wear him down with the size, Jim. The last few drives, Butler has not been able to get a good shot off at the rim. They're going to have to knock down a perimeter shot or two to maintain contact so Duke can't crack this open. Up ahead to Hayward. Thomas comes in. And the... Off the knee of Norad. Or did it touch a Duke player? Well, they're going to say it didn't touch. Norad last. Hayward pulls up, puts up the high arching shot. Six minutes, 20 seconds without a field goal. Well, they need to make a jump or two, I think, to have a chance in the ball for the Bulldogs as they inbound now. Good piece of work by our officiating crew. They've been, I think, excellent all night. And Smith not been living at the line in the second half, but has not made a basket. Field goal. Mack is a big shot maker and taker if he gets daylight. He doesn't need much room. Howard. Mack, one baseline, floater, slides off the rim and the Has to make a perimeter shot, Jim, or some type of field goal. They missed the last six. Yeah, they can't get it done all the way if they don't make a bucket. That was a block by Shire. Hayward behind the back, gives it up to Howard, and it bounces in. Dogs taken off to the wing for the tie. Mack back of the rim. Howard comes crashing in. Keeps it for Butler. That's the shot Mack loves. He loves that pull-up three. You don't need it now, though. It doesn't have to be a three now. Just get a good shot. That's a good shot right there. How is off. Norad to Mack. Hayward hasn't touched it. 15 seconds. Mack. Zubak deflects it. Be involved in maybe screening and catching the pass. Well, there it is. Out to Hayward. Singler defending. 10 seconds to go. He wants to drive behind the back. On the baseline. Fade away. Shot. Off the rim. Hayward pulling it down. Getting around. Zubak. At midcourt, launches the shot. Oh! 